Welcome to Create Your Own Reality, a show about hope, inspiration, and encouragement. A program that will feature guests and topics that may inspire you to think and stretch your beliefs about what is real and how you can create miracles in your life. Your hosts, Badish Lang and Pauline Nortness. Welcome to Create Your Own Reality. I'm Pauline Nortness, and my co-host is Badish Lang. Our guest today is Dr. Lori Horan Soul, a naturopathic physician with a doctorate in naturopathic medicine and oriental medicine. She holds a certification in homeopathy. We will be discussing obesity, diabetes, and metabolic syndrome. Dr. Lori will be sharing some very important and insightful information that you don't want to turn off your dial. Just keep watching. Okay, thank you. Dr. Lori, it's so great to have you here today. Thank you, Pauline. Yeah, and um, for people who don't know what a naturopathic doctor is, tell us what, what is actually naturopathic medicine? Naturopathic medicine is a wonderful system of medicine. It's known as alternative medicine. I think it's where everybody should start, actually, <laughs> because it's based on the belief that if you find the cause of a problem yeah. and you eliminate the cause of the problem, the body will heal. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. So it, it operates on the idea that the, the body is intelligent and it can heal if it's given what it needs and the conditions for, for health are supported. Yeah. So, you know, there's a metaphor. Like the, the, the body is like a garden. It's its own ecosystem that when it has what it needs, it can thrive. Yeah. And if there's too much water or some chemical, the leaves will turn yellow. Those are symptoms. Yeah. And symptoms are simply mm -hmm. a signal of an imbalance mm -hmm. that can be corrected if you know what it is. Can I just say one thing? It's our immune system, right? I mean, it's our, we were born with the ability to heal. That's all I want to say. The immune system is what you're talking about. That's, that's one system of many. Yes. I mean, we're also an endocrine system. We're a digestive system. We're a nervous system. We're oh, a musculoskeletal true, yeah. system. We have many systems, and they all function together or they dysfunction together. So yes. what we're doing is looking at the balance of all of them. It's a mind-body-spirit, isn't it, approach? It is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It is. Well, can you tell us a little bit about your practice? I can. I, I have a very broad practice where I work with people who have health challenges to feel well. And what I work with a lot is um, digestive problems, endocrine problems. I work with people who are overweight. I work with chronic pain and fatigue yeah. and also menopause. I use a combination of medical nutrition, herbs, homeopathy, I use nutritional supplements, acupuncture, IV therapy, I, I do spinal manipulation as well, just, um, I have a lot of tools in my bag. Now, what, what would you say is the biggest health issue facing Americans today? Well, you know, Pauline, for the first time in history, it's now predicted that our children are going to die sooner than their parents. I've heard that and it's, it's, it's terrible. I mean, it's a horrible thought. And the reason is that our, our country is getting heavier every year. I mean, let's just say people. People are getting fatter every year. And there are big health co consequences to that. You know that after the, um, the year 2000, it's predicted that a third up to a half of all kids born will become diabetic because of it. O obesity leads to yeah. diabetes and other other issues. Mm -hmm. Well, can you tell us about the uh, the metabolic system and and how it is uh, uh, re relating to diabetes and obesity? Your your, your uh, metabolic about syndrome. Metabolic syndrome. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Metabolic syndrome is is an it's an actual condition and it it describes a dysfunctional metabolism. And it's a more, it's, it's an advanced version of obesity. It's obesity all grown up, and it's diabetes in the making. Wow. And so y it, diabetes and obesity are related like this. I mean, there's a, there's a, wor a word for it. It's called diabesity. Oh, That really? it's just a matter oh. of time that if you're overweight and you're, you're fasting insulin or you're, you're, your insulin is running high, that the receptors that 
are designed to take in the insulin are going to become unreceptive and the insulin will stay high and eventually that's diabetes. So what metabolic syndrome describes is it's a combination of abdominal obesity, high cholesterol, specifically triglycerides, mm -hmm. um, high insulin, which also means high blood glucose in a way, yeah. and high blood pressure. So if you've got those four uh, um, symptoms, you've got the four legs to the stool that makes up metabolic syndrome that then just sets you up for the great American way to develop degenerative diseases that end up killing you. How is your approach to um, treating diabetes different mm -hmm. than a medical approach to treating diabetes? Because usually with a medical approach, they, they get insulin shots. They don't, I right. mean, I'm sure doctors try to tell people to diet. Right. I'm sure they, they encourage them to drop the pounds, but they, they give them insulin shots. Right. And what would your approach be? Well, you're right that most, most people who are diabetic will um, be given insulin. Usually, if you're diabetic, your cholesterol is probably high, too. They usually go hand in hand, and if one's not there yet, it will be in time. So a medical doctor will also give somebody with diabetes Lipitor, and likely, which is um, something that will bring cholesterol down. Is it it's a one good of the statin effect? drugs. Yeah. It'll bring cholesterol yeah. down. We can, we'll talk more about okay. that. But it, it's something to bring cholesterol down. Um, they'll also probably give them a blood pressure medicine. And um, and then something that might manage the side effects of those things. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. As well. I'm thinking of side effects, side effects, side effects. Right. So how would our approach differ? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I would do, oftentimes when somebody comes to me, um, they they may have uh, some lab work that says their blood glucose is high, and that they. Um, they don't know what they're going to do. They're at a decision yeah. point. The doctor wants to give them insulin. They don't know what they're going to do. So, you know, I'm going to come up with a treatment plan for them. It's based on the family history, an exam. I might do some more lab tests if I need them. But um, I'll also do a thorough review yeah. of their systems and find out what other lab testing might be needed. Mm -hmm. But my goal is going to be to lower their glucose levels in their body. And yeah. the great news is is when you're on the line and your your glucose is high but you're not diabetic yet, it's it's a great place to intervene because it's a hundred percent treatable with nutrition. A hundred percent. You don't have to go down the road of treating diabetes with insulin and then ending up with all of those side effects which down the road are not very pretty. Can we talk about those side effects? Yes. That was gonna be my next question, what are some of the things that are going to be showing up in their health that they would be facing if they don't? Diabetics? Yes, and the obesity, right. of course. Okay, so if you imagine that somebody has too much blood or sugar in their blood, uh -huh. what will happen is um, the blood cells get glycosylated, which is where sugar starts to attach to a red blood cell. And so it's floating around in the blood uh, and in, in all the small blood vessels, uh -huh. and that gets to be a problem for the tiny blood vessels, like in the periphery, where you're talking about your peripheral circulation, yes, um, and also like behind the eye. That's why diabetics sometimes lose their feet or yes, their eyesight. Because sticky blood mm. has trouble going through those tinier blood vessels, right? But with obesity and diabetes, you're also going to th see things like sleep disorders, where you'll have sleep apnea, sleep will be terrible. Um, teeth rot, gums deteriorate, um, other hormones get to be involved and other endocrine problems come out of that. Um, osteoarthritis, 